Okay, I want to talk with about uh, so this year's uh, Ubuntu desktop printing technology. Um, maybe someone uh, in here stay, uh, already use uh, Ubuntu as a your desktop. How many people? Okay, good. And uh, how many people want to connect uh, your Ubuntu machine to the printer, right? Okay. <laughs> I hope this is uh, this presentation helps you. And uh, so, please introduce my, uh, myself. Uh, I'm a Naruhiko Ogasara from Tokyo, Japan. Uh, nearly Tokyo, Chiba, Japan. Uh, I'm a desktop flow enthusiast. Not uh, my flow activity is uh, not. Uh, work, but uh, so this is uh, my personal project. I love printing and LibreOffice or any other desktop features, for example, GNOME or something. And uh, I am a former member of Open Printing Japan. Uh, I will mention Open Printing soon. And uh, Open Printing Japan is a Japanese local work group uh, of Open Printing. And unfortunately, this uh, already sh almost shut down the work group. Uh, work group, but uh, uh, I was on this uh, group. And uh, I'm a former employee of the Japanese printer vendor. And uh, I also love kayaking. And uh, open printing is an uh, uh, organization of uh, developing IPP-based printing technology for Unix, Linux Unix operating system. Uh, we have one, uh, this organization is a very important role to develop some uh, printing feature to the Linux world. And uh, so, Different uh, uh, organization is, has also important role, but uh, I will mention later, yeah. And uh, as a normal peripherals, uh, printer is a quite different uh, work. Uh, printer is quite different from other printer peripherals. So if you, use printer driver. Printer driver is uh, not a kernel module. Uh, basically, uh, some kind of, for example, you need a GPU driver. GPU driver is a kernel module, uh, but uh, printer driver is not a kernel module. Uh, printer driver, printer is uh, just uh, uh, some kind of queue. Like that. Some kind of queue. The printer has uh, some kind of queue like that, and uh, so input some uh, get some input data from the PC. And uh, for example, this is a job control command. For example, QTY is one, and color is black, font white, size equal A4 or something, and. Uh, Inside this uh, job control, the, there is a PDL. PDL is a kind of the language uh, to describe the page feature. I mean, the, so for example, text is here, line is here, a circle is here, or such, such kind of thing. Printer itself, uh, this kind of queue is, uh, for example, network or USB or uh, traditionally IEEE 1284, uh, as long as Centronix. Uh, such kind of the print queue is already built in in the Linux kernel. So uh, this kind of the work is uh, totally in the user land. This is a uh, difference of the other printer and other peripherals. 
And the uh, center of the, this, this uh, print architecture is a CAPS. CAPS is a, so former name is a common Unix printing system, but it's not uh, currently not corrected. Uh, CAPS is a just CAPS. CAPS is a just a trademark. And uh, this is a core module of Linux printing system. It handles uh, job control and its user interface and uh, data filter pipeline to create PDL. This, uh, as I mentioned before, so this is a no kernel round module and now developed by open printing. So some of you already uh, remember, so CAPS is developed by Apple, but uh, nowadays Apple is reduced the open source version of the CAPS. So uh, open printing forks it and the uh, current upstream of open, uh, open uh, CAPS is open printing one. CAPS doing the, such kind of the work, if a printer want to, uh, some application want to see the, uh, some configuration, here is a configuration screen in the LibreOffice, and uh, uh, CAPS provides a PPD. I mean, I will mention the PPD data and uh, get some configuration and set some configuration. For example, uh, page size is A1, uh, A4, or uh, tray is tray number one, or duplex, or color is black and white, or color, full color, or something. And uh, so printer uh, application also generates so PDF uh, and send to the uh, CAPS. And the CAPS uh, has a spooler, and uh, they spool the job, and uh, they uh, pass this data, P PDF data, into the uh, PDF to uh, PDF to PDF uh, filter pipeline. So it started PDF to PDF to several pipeline. Then, lastly, uh, language filter we uh, it used and uh, sent to the back end. And uh, lastly, the whole data is sent to the printer. This is a CAPS printing uh, scenario, a typical CAPS printing scenario. Okay, I, uh, as first, I want to say the, some job control command, PPD. PPD is a post print. The PostScript printer description. This is uh, came from, came from, this name is came from historical reason. Now not limited to the PostScript. This is uh, this, this file describes the printer capability: color, monochrome, supported media size, supported media type, finishing features. For example, duplex or uh, stapling or any other kind of things. This is a typical PPD file. Uh, for example, this is a version number and, uh, oh, sorry. This should be a version number and, uh, for example, there is a page size feature. This is a, a selectable item from uh, each uh, option from only one. And the uh, default page size is A4, and uh, we have uh, A4 page size and A5 page size, uh, uh, A4 borderless page size, or something, something, something. We have lots of options. So this kind of the PPD is translated to this kind of user interface. For example, this is, now we have a A4 and A4 uh, borderless or 
for some reason, some character is missing, but uh, you can see the options from PPD. This is a uh, uh, PPD and uh, uh, sorry, uh, PPD and uh, applications uh, user interface. And uh, PDF to PDF is a uh, perhaps same built in filter in package uh, caps filters, and uh, this is uh, used for page layout of PDF like any one or any app. For example, if we want to uh, for in one printing, for in one printing, uh, one, two, three, four page into the, oh, sorry, one, two, three, four page into the uh, first one and uh, five, six, seven, eight pre, uh, pages in the uh, page two. This kind of the, so NAP feature is written by, uh, written, uh, do, uh, handles in the PD, PDF to PDF filter. PDF is a paginated uh, format, so easy to do such kind of the uh, rendering control. So uh, in Capsera, uh, Capsera, we use a, PPD, a PDF uh, instead of other uh, data format, like a post or something. And uh, we also use a language filter. This is a kind, uh, one of the important module of printer driver. And uh, the last filter of the printer, filter pipeline to generate printer specific data format, we say this is PDL. PDL is a printer description language or a page description language. So uh, we create the, uh, we can create the PDF to the PDL in, uh, thanks to the language filter. This is a uh, which the picture on the printer. Uh, so, and uh, some data format is vector and some format is raster. Anyway, so language filter is a very important uh, component of the printer driver. Okay, let me back. As I mentioned before, so yeah, uh, PPD and the language filters set is, uh, we say, printer driver. That's, that, uh, this is the basic, uh, uh, basic of the printing uh, drivers. Uh, printer, uh, print, uh, printing uh, scenario, but uh, this was a painful error because who provides a printer driver? <laughs> so, I don't know, I'm not sure about uh, so here in Korea, but uh, in Japan, uh, each printer vendor has each PDL. Uh, and uh, this is a uh, very difficult to uh, develop the printer driver by ourselves because some such kind of PDL is uh, proprietary, so we cannot uh, implement it by ourselves. So we need to sub need to help uh, vendor support, but. Uh, Application vendors, according to the market share of desktop OSs, the printer vendor want to develop the printer drivers for Linux. This is a common question. So now we have a driverless printing. It's, we don't know, need to install printer driver. Instead, connect via Wi-Fi or USB, uh, then just work. 
if printer support Apple AirPrint or BP everywhere. How it works? Uh, when printer turns on, let uh, it let some network device know I'm here, I'm here, I can print uh, via multicast dynamic DNS, uh, we say Abahi. Or uh, in Apple Air uh, world, bon it say bonjour. So, Caps Browser D, it, it's a very small uh, component in the Caps family. Uh, it can grab the uh, my, uh, Abahi message and uh, let Caps know the new printer coming. Then, and CAPS asks to, uh, to the printer its attribute or capabilities via IPP and uh, generate, automatically generate the PDD without the printer driver. <laughs> and the uh, application also creates the print, uh, PP, PDF, uh, this, is, this is a common of the same as the CAPS uh, measure and normal feature. And uh, then uh, raster data is a, uh, raster filter is a, a common component, not only specified, uh, a specific printer. So they provide the PPD or a, a PPP, uh, some kind of the raster data. Okay, I spend a lot of time anyway. And uh, IPP is an uh, internet printing protocol. This is a printing protocol, a printing protocol over HTTP. This is a bidirectional, it can get printer status capabilities or configuration and uh, post printing job with printer uh, job control commands. For example, uh, if uh, we check the, this kind of the CAPS uh, command, uh, IPP tool command, uh, IPP can uh, size, media size default is A4 and uh, they support a lot of size, uh, media size. And uh, this is into the PPD. And the last file, uh, also this is a IPP, ITPP's uh, answer. So this printer can accept octet uh, application of octet stream, I, uh, I image PWG raster and image RUTF, image JPEG. So, uh, if we print PDF, PDF to make to the CAPS PDF and CAPS PDF into the PWG raster, so you can print this data to PWG raster. This kind of the filter pipeline is described in the user share CAPS MIME comp file. Okay, conclusion. Printer driver is a user land module within CAPS. A pair of the PPD and language filter is a printer driver. Some time ago, using printer in Ubuntu required support from the printer vendor, but now we have a driverless printing feature. So this allows to use Ubuntu users to print Apple Air Printer viable printers uh, without vendor's drivers. Thank you. I, my presentation is over time, but uh, I can ask some question. Ah, go ahead.
Yeah, I just want to start by saying thanks for uh, working on open printing. I know printing on Linux is uh, it's really, really good now. Um, but I'm just wondering, what is the future uh, for like the development in the future with like open printing and cups? What kind of, uh, what do you guys work on uh, now and what new features uh, do you want to bring in? Okay, so open printing now focusing on the next generation of the cups. Uh, cups de uh, decided the local type of uh, printer driver uh, discontinued the printer driver because so Apple Air Print is already 10 years ago. So uh, Cups thought uh, it, it, it is enough time to support all printer support the uh, Apple Air Print or uh, driverless printing feature. But uh, it's a bit uh, uh, dramatically changed. So uh, now uh, open printing creates the applica printer application. This is a uh, dummy module uh, to as a uh, uh, it, this is a printer driver module, but uh, it's a dummy module, a dummy printer, I mean the air print printer. Uh, it works as a uh, IPP everywhere printer, but uh, inside the application, the traditional printer driver will work. Uh, sounds good. I right, thank you. Okay. Okay. Thank you.